This is huge. Terrifying video Raxal Nation. Watch video till the end. Before we can start this video, I would like to encourage all of you to watch this video until the end and share your personal opinion in the comment section about the terrifying video that rocks all nation. This will help us ensure and create an amazing and vibrant community here on YouTube. Number one, Maurice Ward, the recipe for indestructible plastic. After witnessing an airplane bursting into flames, an English inventor by the name of Maurice Ward decided to design and create a material that could withstand pretty much anything. And incredibly enough, he did. What he was able to achieve was a heat-resistant plastic that could endure more than 10,000 degrees Celsius and was resistant to an impact force greater than the 75 Hiroshima bomb combined. Naming it Starlight, Ward decided to sell his invention to those who could put it to great use. NASA was of course extremely interesting and invited Ward to present his indestructible invention. Since Starlight was lightweight and could be shaped in basically any fashion, it could have had an unimaginable impact in revolutionizing spaceflight as we know it. Unfortunately, Ward sensed that some campaigns might want to profit from his invention without giving him any credit or remuneration and decided not to part with his most prized possession. In 2011, he passed away, taking the secret of Starlight with him. When asked about, he just said that it was made of a up to 21 organic polymers and copolymers and small quantities of ceramics. This, however, wasn't enough for scientists to replicate it. Number 2. Nikola Tesla – Wireless Electricity Thanks to the marvel that is the internet, we can save some time by not having to say much about who Nikola Tesla was, or what he achieved throughout his life. But for those of us who don't know that much about him, Tesla was the man who discovered alternative current, which was far more practical and safe than Edison's direct current. He is also credited of inventing the Tesla coil, the radio transmitter, the fluorescent lamp, and by the early 1900s was regarded as America's greatest electrical engineer. But for all his work, Tesla wasn't able to complete what would have been his crowning achievement, bringing free wireless electricity to the whole world. In 1905, with the financial aid of entrepreneur J.P. Morgan, Tesla began working on the Wardenclyffe Tower, a prototype that was aimed to use both the ionosphere above and the entire planet below as electrical conductors. It would be capable of transporting electrical energy anywhere in the world. However, the economic instability that hit the United States shortly after construction began ensured that this ambition project will never come to fruition. Number 3. Arsene Gödriter Location of the Stolen Painting of Incredible Values The Ghent Altarpiece is an incredible piece of artwork dating back in the early 15th century and was commissioned by Huber van Eyck, about whom little is known. Many art specialists believe that to the one of the most important paintings in the world are arguably the most often stolen. It also managed to escape several fires and riots throughout the ages and was even able to find its way back after being taken by Napoleon. However, during a moonless night in 1934, two men were seen outside St. Bavos Cathedral in Ghent 
carrying an object resembling a panel and then climbing into a car and driving away. The next morning, the, the theft of two of these 12 panels that comprised the Ghent altarpiece was reported. Soon after, the Bishop of Ghent received a ransom letter, asking for 1 million Belgian francs, and a series of letters were sent back and forth between the thief and the, badge, thief and the bishop. As a gesture of good faith, the thief gave back one of the stolen panels, St. John the Baptist. However, the correspondence stopped soon after that. In a seemingly unrelated sequence of events, a stockbroker by the name of Arsene Gödrich asked to meet in private with his lawyer after suffering a stroke and was laying on his deathbed. He told his lawyer that he was the only one who knew the location of the last missing panel and pointed towards a wardrobe, saying something about a key that opened a drawer. He died immediately after that. Number 4. Jerome of San Diego. Nobody knows. On September 8, 1863, a man was found on the beaches of San Diego, Nova Scotia. Nothing particularly striking so far but this man had both his legs cut off just above the knees and bandage over his wounds. When asked about his name, the man was only able to utter a few words and sounds that loosely sounded like Jerome. So that's what began to call him. He never spoke after that and was only capable of making animal noises. This seemed to indicate a probably brain injury. Over the years, Jerome became somewhat of a local personality, with people from other places paying to have a chance to see him. He eventually died in 1912, without telling anyone who he was, where he came from, or even what happened to his legs. So great was the intrigue that his memories endures in Nova Scotia, fascinating people well into the 21st century. There have been books written about him and even a movie was filmed in 1994 called Jerome's Secret. He may not have actually had anything to say, but given the fact that he didn't say anything at all, it drove people to all sorts of wild speculations. As always, dear friends, at the end of the video I'm encouraging you, the viewers, to share your personal and patriotic opinions in the comment section down below regarding the four subjects at hand. Thank you very much for this. May God bless you. Thank you very much.